right, people, welcome back. More vitamin Y. So today is Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. And that means that we are using Labradite Ebel. So I totally remembered to put the card in the deck. So yes, uh, Clear Wing is in here. I kind of felt like, you know, the ultimate to the Clear Wing opening play is stronger than uh, the Beals play, you know? Because all they had to do is like one on one to cast out the Beals and then bam, run over the freaking. Uh, uh, the freaking uh, Altamaya. Well, clearly, and clearing is just locking it down at the power, you know? Like, you target me, bam, you're, you know, negate and, and die, you know? Alright. We opened up so good. Like, people, 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 please. You do not know how good we opened. We opened up first turn Altamaya. So, you know what? I'm talking all that good shit about, you know, the clear wing. Let me go ahead and just do them first turn. Why not? Well, why not go first time? Yeah. Oh, why the fuck not? Let's see. Let's, let's see. Uh, well, I don't have anything on the field that can make a build. So I can make an ultimate though. Act. A summon clearwing. Rawr! Clearwing. Once the turn, your native has turn when a level 5 or higher monster on the field activates effect. You can negate the activation if you destroy it. Once return to an inner player's turn when a monster is effect is activated that targets exactly one level 5 or higher uh, monster on the field and no other cards, you can negate the activation if you destroy it. So, pretty much if he tries to make like a 101 or a Castell or something to target my clear wing, I would go negate and push it back in his face. So, I guess he's looking at it. My powerful, powerful Ultimaya that can keep on pumping out as long as you stay on the field, buddy. And Clear Wing's gonna lock it down and protect you. Cause that, I, I noticed that, I noticed that. People go, you know, Ultimaya and, and summon builds and just be like, alright, one on one, cast down the builds, kill the Ultimaya. But with this, you gotta get through this to get to this, and this is, you know, you can't target me. If you target me, I'm gonna kill you, so. And then gain your attack, and then feed a nush on you if this card destroys. And, a monster by its own effect, it it gains the, the original attack destroy monster until the end of the turn. So if he tries to, you know, one on one or cast me or something like that. Oh, thank God Snatch Steals, man. <laughs> uh, his memory. I have no idea what you're going to search, but yeah, it's kind of like, thank God, you know, that card's gone. I wasn't a big fan of that card existing, so. Ha. <laughs> <sighs> Because Hidden Armory Snatch Deal. I think freaking DeSigma put up a video and he was like, oh, this is the reason why uh, uh, Snatch Deal is banned because Hidden Armory. I'm like, no, Snatch Deal is banned because Snatch Deal. <laughs> like, like, really? You really think that's the reason? <laughs> wow. Okay. Now we can go ahead and go for Beals. Wait, he can't normal summon or set the turn. He activates hidden armory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll just let him have it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> look at what he is <laughs> going against. <laughs> So now he has to get past the clearing and the beals. Like, oh my god. Clearing should definitely be more than enough. Alright. He has one more Tengu. I can't believe Dark Reffer's still on the field. I mean, he's a 17 beater, but I can't believe he's still on the field. Wow, that was dumb. No, it would have been the same result. It would have been the same result. I was thinking, I was like, well, you could summon it and then. You know, I'd have to kill it with a... <laughs> so generous! <laughs> I am so generous. He shouldn't have been able to set that reborn Tengu. Which means he had to stress summon in with this field. Like, shit. That might have been game. Maybe. Maybe, baby. That would have been game? Yeah, that would have been game. Yeah, that would have been game. Because I would have... Could have went Limit Reverse, summoned you back, make a Beal. I could have done that, actually. I could have activated Limit Reverse and then made it Leo. Leo, Beals and clearing like 
You know what? I didn't want you to play Yu-Gi-Oh anyway. <laughs> What did he search for? I didn't see what he searched for. Alright, that's petition. That's fine. Send Felice. Felice, summon back, make a black rose, right? Well, okay. Spell striker. Summon glow up. Okay. No, black rose. That's what you want to go into. So these aren't summoned prop. This isn't summoned properly, so I can't resummon it with like soul charge. <sighs> if you guys were like wondering, like, no, I cannot. <laughs> can you only control one Altamaya? It seems like a kind of card that you can only control one. Hmm. Black Rose? Yep. Let me go ahead and put my mouse over it. Go ahead and go into Black Rose. Can't. Stop. 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 But not now, <laughs> not again. <laughs> you already normal summoned the mathematician. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna allow you to keep doing that. I was being nice before, but, uh, sir, what is this? I, I haven't seen, who is this? Who is this? Who is this? <laughs> I'll take that. It's fine. Nope, I won. Still don't know why you didn't black rose me. That was the perfect time for you to go ahead and black I mean, bills would stay, but you'd have got rid of everything else. No, no you wouldn't, because I can negate with curling. Once we turn, what a level five motion. Okay, so that's the reason why you didn't go into it. Makes sense. I was like, why didn't you go into to Black Rose? Wow. 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 See, clearly locking it down. <laughs> Uh, I guess I can send it to you. Uh, 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 sure. After I am done recording. Yep, yep, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, your ass beating is permanently plastered on YouTube. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I guess this guy doesn't want to rematch, so... So I'll get a different duel in. Whew, I opened up so well and continued just to get the good shit. I really couldn't really use the limit reverse except for Ultimaya, but totally fine. Yeah. That, I, oh my god. <laughs> Putting that work, it was just beautiful. Okay. Alright, what's my opening hand? Let me get in the dark red for the movie first. I will eat her tear. No, oh, that sounds fun. Got the classic. The classic, these two. So, I'm gonna get in the droppy bell, set the limit reverse, and then bam, I got tear. See, about tears in my hand, so I'll probably go dark red for pitch. Yeah. That'd be my way. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can go discard, special summon, discard, send, normal summon, send. Yep, I got Ultimaya. <laughs> Whew. 
wow. This hand, this hand was, uh, this hand went from, eh, it's okay, to, whew, this hand's good. Just, uh, like, you think drawing terror and drawing, uh, Mally, like, ew, like, you don't want to draw them. And then Dark Graffer is like, I got this, I got this. Like, like I'm, when I get married, Dark Graffer's going to be my best man, because that man be fucking putting in that work. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Emerald. Fact. Detach. Send back all to Maya. Mally effect. Whew! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so fucking good. All to Maya. Set the limit reverse. Effect. And we'll summon Clearwing again. Like I said, first turn Clearwing. Oh shit, it's gonna be summoning some nimbles. <clears throat> he needs to kill my emerald next turn. Like, immediately. Alright, summon one nimble, summon the other nimble. They're supposed to be face down, but I mean, it really doesn't matter. Alright. Kill one. I'd rather kill it and have you gain a thousand life points. I'm just kind of wondering if you're gonna like if you're using that raccoon deck with Nimble. That's what I'm wondering right now. If you can like flip some of this, summon one of your raccoons, and go into that one XC monster. I've never been a big fan of raccoons. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what you're gonna do. Clothing is so good. Only problem is if he does flip this up and then summon that next C into his monster, detach some of the token, the token will be just as strong as my clearing. You just crash. How to beat clearing? Just run it over, but you know, it's kind of difficult to do that at times. Really? You're just gonna go into defensive? Hmm. What should I do this upcoming turn? Set that. Whew. Hmm. I want to get the slimmer. I should have. You know what? I should instead of pitching terror, I should have pitched level eater because I wanted it in the graveyard for uh uh what's it called? Ah, what's it fucking called? Um, the arachnid spider booty thingy. I forgot its name. Underground Arachnid. Yeah, that's it. Oh my god, this man. At least I have to be in attack mode. 500. But you take two fucking dots. Oh, Beals gains effect. When you take damage from an attack involving this card or from an opponent's card effect. Actually, I gain. Uh, Bills is 4,000. Uh, uh, Bills is at 3,500. During attack from effect of me taking 500. And, and now it is at 4,000. Oh, you take an extra 500? But you know what, I'll leave it alone. I'll leave it alone. It's not even that important. I'm fucking wrecking. Go ahead. Make my bill stronger! Stronger! My build is from Soviet Russia! No, I'm sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> Let me draw another card to set. Alright, that's fine. My field is full. If I drew another card to set, I could set it and then summon scrap, but my field is full.
clear wing. Are you just running like floaty dot deck? There you go, one day. Oh, it's Exodia. It's some weird Exodia deck. It's 4,500. Exodia. It's clearly Exodia. Just a. Okay. Alright, I'll believe you. Seems like Exodia to me. These floaty ass shit, the fucking one day, the the so scarecrow. Like as soon as I saw the fucking one day, I'm like, oh, it's Exodia. No other deck plays that card except for fucking Exodia. Oh, well, I can set this and then I can go into Scrap Dragon. And then Scrap can start destroying shit. Like look at this field. Look at this. I'm a fucking monster right now. It doesn't matter how good of a monster fucking reckon is. Okay. Just a floaty ass fucking deck. Look at this! This field's a monster, but it doesn't matter if he just keeps on blocking and fucking not interacting with me. That's a song. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, it does. <sighs> Do I need. Do I need to get the ruling for you, sir? It does work like that. I don't have to destroy, I only have to target. Alright, bear back. Ah, <sighs> alright, I had to send it to him. Alright, well, I can't do any damage this turn, but I can still destroy, right? Yeah, I just can't do any damage to him. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yep, scrap dragon right there. Kill all the monsters, kill all the monsters. Go ahead. Look at this, look at this. He's not trying to act with. He said he's not using Exodia, so I'll believe him. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna act like this man's not gonna lie to my fucking face. Like, there's no reason for you to lie. Like, really, if you're gonna lie to me about playing Exodia just so someone will duel you because you're using Exodia, like that's fucking sad. Like, just say I'm dueling you with Exodia, just so I can be like, all right, fine, I'm not gonna duel then. That's fine. You know, but if you lie to my fucking face, if you fucking Exodia me, I'm be like, okay, well I win because you're fucking a liar. But. Okay, build and your set monster. Battle Fader, Slip Crow? Of course. Like I said, I'll believe you. You said you weren't using Exodia. You said nope. So. Like I said, if you're using Exodia, you're eventually going to run out of resources. I'm putting way too much pressure on you for you to be using Exodia. Eventually, you're going to start drawing into pieces and you're not going to have the complete set. You're going to run out of shit to block me with it. You're going to end up losing, so. Kinda of sucks I only play one scrap dragon. If I play two I could go just go scrap effect, destroy this, set this, and then summon another scrap, but I'll only play one in this deck because this extra deck is kinda of tight. It's kinda of tight and wet and more okay, I'll stop. <laughs> but seriously, like if I ran another one I would totally go scrap effect, destroy this, then go set, swing, summon another scrap, go another scrap effect, and I get two scrap pops per turn. Maybe I should put a second scrap in here. I don't know what to take out though. I could probably drop you down to one. Yeah, I'll probably do that because you're not that important. You're good. You're good, but you know. 
you're not that important. So I'll probably drop you down to one for two scrap. Because generally I run two scrap. So, still there? Oh, okay. And you're still there. You just fucking sitting there now. You're gonna blind space me. That's fine. You can have that. I know when I'm mad, I don't even need it. So my field is full, and I still have emerald. I still have a swing. I still have lots of shit. So. Hmm. Okay. It's hard getting to detect a number of monsters in your graveyard times three hundred. So he goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That is that like forty two hundred? Right? Right? Or is my math just bad? Forty two hundred, yep. Alright, that's fine. Alright. Forty two hundred. Uh, take 14. My bills are still 4,500, so I can still run you over. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead, set a card, and summon another bills, because why the fuck not? You burned me three times. Yeah, I'm 4,500. Oh, okay. Okay, so so then I don't attack. Yeah, okay, so I don't attack. All right, well, you can only play that during my main phase. So during end of my, okay. All right, All right. that's fine. So pretty much it. I go end of main phase, he goes effect veiler, so I snap back to main phase, so I don't go into battle phase. So I guess I'll just end my turn, I guess. So he negates my effect. I drop back down to my original attack, don't I? I think so. They're killing some of my monsters so I can free up shit on my field. So now they're 4,500? Yeah, because he has extra effect rollers, so they're both 4,500. That's cute. Alright, so, um, you know what, I'm gonna turn my bills to defense mode, He's, he can't get over them, he'll kill these two, that's fine, I'll set the, le the level eater, uh, and then he'll kill the level eater, then I can literally just use my swings, my limerus, and my silent dooms to go, summon, eat a level off, give me, summon, eat a level off, give me, with my two arachnids. Yep. It's fine, about 4500. Well, it wasn't Exodia, at least. So he pretty much just filled his deck up with, I mean, his graveyard up with monsters and summoned that. that that's cute. All right. Uh, going to attack. No, you're not. Alright, well, I'll crash. I'll take 15 and then I'll gain the 15. Yep, if he doesn't want to attack, I'll attack you. That's fine. Time. You don't want to attack me? I'll attack you. 
Like, come at me, bro. Actually, you know what the sad thing is? As soon as he gets, as soon as he kills one of the monsters, I can literally just set and then summon hot. It's hot in Topeka and wipe him. Won't game him. But yeah, I can summon hot. I need you to clear up my field. Like, I need you to attack me. If not, then I'll just have my bill start attacking and crashing into you. What's up? I can't be destroyed, so. Crash. So, you're destroyed. The interesting thing is that now this guy goes up to 4,800 and I'm only 4,500, so. Yeah, that's interesting to say the least. I still can do anything, so. Now you're 4,800. That's it. All I need you to do is just kill one of my fucking monsters. Just one. Just kill one of them. You're sitting there with a fucking 4,800 monster and not attacking. Like, look, I got a juicy ass fucking clear wing. I got a nice Dagusta Emerald that's, you know, totally ready to leave the field. That this duel is going super slow, and you know, you'll deck out before me. Yeah, I'm pretty much done sending. Yeah, I'm done sending. So, you can either attack my bills, or I'm gonna attack you, and then I'm gonna go up to 4800, and then I'll kill you. So, keep on stacking up these monsters, I don't care. You only have one of these left in your deck. This man's taking forever on his fucking turn, and it's not like you have much to think about. No, you're not destroyed. You're not destroyed. Is it on summon? No, it's just period, so it's a heck is always changing. This card is the number one. Yeah, it doesn't say when this card is summoned, so yeah, you're at 4800. Is this duel going? Is this duel up to your guys' liking? Slow as fuck? You gotta admit, my plays are awesome. You know, my field is awesome. It's just this man sitting here just stalling the fuck out. So, next turn I'll crash into him, and then I'll go back on the offensive. What's this do? <sighs> really? That was fucking sacky. Wow. Wow. Fucking Saki. Wow. Really? Alright. Call another episode. That was gay. That was fucking just... Don't interrupt me with the entire duel and then just equip and attack me directly. Like, really? Really? Fucking stupid. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow using Yvonne Zephyrus. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.